Okay, uh, sitting here with Kyle Remus, this is day three of a 20 day program. Um, Kyle's at a stage of his career where he's been delisted by Essendon. A couple of clubs are looking at him and the draft's on in two weeks, so he's got to be fit. So he's coming here a little bit humbled and a little bit ready to uh, probably work harder than he's ever done before and uh, got a chance ahead of him. So we've been basically putting him through a health circuit, trying to get him really match ready and match fit, um, ready to come in and start training at, at an elite level rather than coming unfit and having to play catch up. Um, it's only 20 days we've got to work together, so you can't do a lot as far as strength and size goes in 20 days, but I do believe you can do a lot with your fitness. So tell us about the first couple of days, Paul, we've had two workouts now. Uh, take us through how you felt going through that kind of uh, intensity. Yeah, the two workouts we've had already were pretty intense. I found out a lot about myself and pushed the limits I never thought I could get to. And afterwards, I'll yeah, been struggling to move. You spent a bit of time in the bowl, the bucket, the bin, <laughs> whatever's closest. Um, you sort of pushed yourself to the point where you've had to throw up, but we don't stop. We'll keep going until the work gets done. As I explained to Kyle, it doesn't matter if he's here till 10 o'clock at night. This is only 7 in the morning. Um, he's got to get everything done that we, we lay out before we start. So, to his credit, he's got back up after having a couple of chunks and a bit of dizziness yeah. and, uh, and got back into it. The first set on Saturday was pretty intense. I kind of I saw my stomach lining pretty soon, but um, after the session, I was dead. Went home, slept for three hours, and couldn't move off the couch until about 6.30 at night. Just wasn't feeling good. Pain's just weakness leaving your body, and I'm a firm believer in that. So we're going to really push him through his limits for the next couple of weeks. And yeah, if nothing comes out of it, he's going to be fitter than he was. If something comes out of it, believe me, this guy's going to be ready to run through walls. And I'm predicting a, a different Kyle Remus than we've ever seen before. Let's do this. He throws this to improve his explosive power. He brings where he's slipped it off and comes forward a bit. And he popped up and catch it again. Okay. He's going to labour. And this is where this kind of circuit gets hard because you're rushing blood from your upper body to your lower body, lower body to upper body and back. Right, down deep and go. Power up, one, two, three, two. Pop up, three, two. I'll throw this one in out of kindness. This one allows you to get your breath. Stretch out your ham, he's actually a very passive exercise after all that explosive stuff. Very, very good for footballers, AFL and below, to strengthen, stretch your hamstrings and give you strength under load. This prevents hamstring tears. We've got a great record with this particular exercise. Let me show you how it's done. Squeeze your cheeks together. Down and stretch, push your knees back. Come up. When you come up with this one, you don't roll your shoulders back. Just to there, squeeze your cheeks together and down you go again. A little bit faster on the way up. 12 times, unless you just get your breath and recover slightly before we go again. Okay. It's taking us seven minutes. And he's going to get a two minute break now and we go through it again. This time we change the rep range a little bit. Um, Basically, we'll try and breed him as he goes, so we might need to change the rep range up or down. If he's going, doing things easy, I'll add five reps to exercise. If he's struggling, I might take three or four off. The whole aim is to push him to his limits and keep him right on that edge for as long as we can. What's happening now is lactic acids are starting to build up everywhere. So his body's screaming and saying, stop, stop, stop. But I'm on his back saying, go, go, go. Let's go, come on. Jump, chest out, back straight. Let's go, come on, you do this, come on, go. Fast, fast. What's happening now, just so you get an idea where he's going through, he's extremely light headed. <coughs> he wants to lie down, but he can't lie down. He goes far up if he needs to, but he can't stop. He's gone. I have to bring home that bin. Kyle Remus. See, what I'm doing here is really, really trying to push him and teach him what he's capable of and change his idea of what pain barriers are because 
If I can push him harder through this and what he's ever going to get in the footy match, he's going to come out in the third and fourth quarter and destroy people. It's that kind of fitness where you can dig deep, where you're lying on the ground, you might need to handle, you've got to get up and run when you've got nothing, and you can reach back into what you learn here and do it all over again. It really is good for him, it's character building. You've got to feel sorry for the bloke. Personally, I don't. This is what athletes are made of. This is what we have to do to take him to that next level. And, um, you know, you think, geez, he's puking up in a bucket, but he could be lying in bed at the end of his career thing, and where did it all go? So we've got a chance here to change things, and um, I think he's going to be all right. Now, I want him to get through this. I'm actually going to give him a three minute break between his rounds now. Um, if he was a bit fitter, it'd only be two minutes or perhaps 90 seconds. So he's got three minutes now to uh, compose himself and get ready to hit it all again. It's hard, but you've got to do it. But you know what? I challenged Kyle. I said, look, show up every day. I'll take care of the workouts. Just show up. If you don't show up, we're done. And he knows that. And to his credit, he's been here at 8 o'clock every morning, 7 o'clock, whatever the time is that I've got free. He's here. He hasn't missed a session. He hasn't. Um, wimped out on anything I've thrown at him and I'm trying to toughen him up perhaps humiliate him a little bit because he's one of those guys that's probably had it too easy by his own admission never put in like he should have and now he's without a club so this is one of those crossroads in life and if someone picks him up and gives him another chance I reckon they're going to have a different athlete on their hands and he'd be a dangerous boy we get him fit he'll, he'll run through walls he really will he's got all the skill in the world he's got to harden him up a little bit bring out that mongrel inside and, and, and let him know what worth it, work ethic's all about. Because you only get one chance at this, you know, and uh, it's all over pretty quick. So Kyle knows that, and he's um, at a point in his life, he's, he's, he's ready to commit, and uh, let's get through this and see where he lands. percent improvement on the way he did his exercises and how he got through it and that's only after our third session so he is going to get fitter fast and, and hard and um, this kind of intensity is um, out of the textbook you're not going to find us anywhere else he's come to be known that he's, he's at the end of the road and um, I reckon we're going to turn him around and then he's going to be a different athlete for the rest of his life after a couple of weeks of this now right Tiger yeah. he's ready to go so uh, right now he's very light headed a little bit pale as you can see, but he got through it. And the confidence that gives you to know that you can push yourself through something like this, when every single fibre in your body is telling you to give up and go home, it really builds character as well as building fitness. So well done Kyle, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh. It's a love-hate thing. I love it, he hates it. <laughs>